Hi, this is Yvonne for Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here today with John Prickett. How you doing, John? Doing great. And uh, you are the owner of the Family Catering Company. That's correct. We're a, a catering service, but also a food truck, so we're trying to be mobile and facilitate and accommodate all of the um, factories in Marion County. They don't get a long time for lunch, so we are trying to make their quality of life just a little bit better. Okay. What made you decide on a food truck? The food truck, it, it's a trend that has really come pretty much come back to life in the past couple of years. However, when I was about seven years old, we had a refrigerator box uh -huh. and I just cut a hole in the side and I started uh, selling half-eaten candy bars and everything out. Of course, mainly to, uh, to my mom and her friends, sure. but uh, it's kind of, it really has been a dream of mine since then. Okay. Now, as far as food goes, I know you have wonderful food here and we'll get into that a little bit later, but are you a chef by trade? I am. I am. I've, I've been to culinary school and I've run the gamut between hospital and uh, university cafeterias all the way to traveling around and really studying fine dining under some of the top chefs okay. around this region. Okay, so what made you decide on a food truck, John? Well, the food truck, you you have an ultimate advantage in the sense that you're mobile. Mm -hmm. um, you also make everybody smile when you pull up, you know, <laughs> especially with a, with a food truck with character. A lot of the food trucks are just big boxes and uh, what we have is a bus, so it's got character already. Mm -hmm. We've got lights that kind of flicker in and out sometimes, so it has its, it has a mind of its own. We, we just kind of try and have as much fun with it as possible. That's the main focus, though, is making people smile. Mm -hmm. When we drive down the road, even to come out and meet you, I saw four or five people point over at me and just, you know, wave their hands, family, family. So it was a good time. Good time by all. Okay, and as far, like you said, you're, you've, it's a school bus. It's a renovated school bus. It really is. It's a, it's a complete school bus. They took off my stop sign, uh -huh. you know, whenever I bought the bus, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I wish I had that. Just yeah. that would be fun to play around with. But uh, uh, no, otherwise, it's, it's a complete school bus that's just been renovated and completely customized to food service. Okay. Now, did you do all this work yourself? I didn't. Uh, there was a gentleman in Louisville, Kentucky, who he offered his services, and I went up one week, and we talked about the, the, the floor layout, uh, what the actual plan was, how the dynamic of service was going to go, mm -hmm. and he put that floor plan together for me, so I showed up the next week. It was perfect. We drove it back to uh, Loretto, where I live, and just got going at that point. That's fantastic. I know you, we see a lot of renovations nowadays of uh, smaller uh, places that people live, and now you've got the, sure. the, the food truck here. I mean, this is this is great. This is wonderful. Yes. Listen, tell us something a little bit about your food. I know that you have some specialties. We do, um, and we're going to see those on the bus here in just a little bit. Uh, the pulled pork has been a gigantic hit. Uh, it's something that's familiar to everybody, but my cooking technique takes in, you know, some of my fine dining experience, some of my culinary school experience, and it really just combines everything to produce a a fantastic product. So everybody loves it. And then okay, we have, well, let's grab the tray then. That's yeah, grab the, grab let's the do this. Okay. All right. All right. Now tell us what you have on the tray. So a couple of things that we have. We have the pulled pork, which I, you know, we smoke this all night on the smoker. Mm -hmm. um, we run what's called a true stick burner. So there's no propane or electric component to this. So it's real wood that's going into the flavor of this. Plus, I like to candy the bark, and then I have a, a spritz, which is not uncommon for pitmasters, but I've taken that to another level, so you got another uh -huh. level of, you've got another flavor profile in there. Well, I know you were telling me about the candy that's on the outside of it. Oh, yes, and you got a little bit of that. How was that? That was pretty darn good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th this in the middle is one of our cold sides. This is the roasted corn salad. This is something that I've seen some other people do, but I I've changed it completely and I've put my own spin on things, but it's a nice cold side. It's very refreshing. You've got roasted corn, bacon, scallions, and my own little rice wine vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Now these beans, these have the four beans in there, the four different kinds of beans in here. 
bacon, brisket burn ins, also a lot of bourbon, a lot of ale eight, which is, you know, kind of my secret thing. Okay. But uh, we've got all that. We went for more of a savory take on this. They're still very sweet, but it's got that nice little tang to it. Okay. I'm going to let you hand that back to her. Yeah, absolutely. So that we don't drop that. Okay, I know you said you go to several factories here in town. And what, what can we expect when you pull up at a factory? What, t what type of sandwiches and what's your menu? We like to change it up. And what we are trying to do, what we've been working out with the factory so far is uh, we have pre-order sheets. Mm -hmm. And people just kind of pick out what they want. We come back, we cook it overnight, and then we come back with box lunches for them. That's completely customizable to them. You know, it's what the sides they want, what they want left out, what kind of proteins they want, what kind of drinks they want. And uh, that way, they can get in and out. They don't have to leave the campus. Mm -hmm. They can get in and out and have a nice hot meal. And it's a ton of food. Okay. One of my favorite things so far is when people walk up to the bus and we hand them their food and they say, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be eat, be able to eat all this, you know? <laughs> so it's, so uh, you're not stingy, huh? Oh no, not stingy <laughs> at all. Not stingy at all. But it's very affordable, low cost, but high quality meals. Uh, one of my... And I was going to ask you about our cost. What, when, uh, what, give us some parameters from what to what. We're probably about 7 to 10 on the meals. Uh -huh. 7 to 10, 10, 50. And then, of course, there's the catering component. Okay. So you can order by the pound. Um, all of that is on the family uh, Facebook page. Okay. Um, all of the catering menu. And, uh, of course, uh, she is the catering director, so she can fill you in a little bit more on that. But uh, as far as the meals, just the quick meals that the factories and the people on the street just passing by are looking for, we're at about seven to ten bucks. Okay. So it's and very are, low cost. Okay. Are you five days a week? We are. Okay. Monday through Friday. Um, we'll, what, what shifts do you? We'll try and do the 10 to 1 okay. and then uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then we try and come back out for a 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. shift because okay. that's just kind of how the uh, factories okay. have set up their shifts. Okay. Well, listen, this sounds wonderful, and if somebody wants to get in contact with you, how do they how do they reach you? I'll tell you what, the best way is 270-940-0070. Of course, you can find us on Facebook at The Family Catering Co. That's The Family Catering Co. Uh, we're constantly updating social media. It's a, it's a necessary thing these days, you know. But uh, you can always contact us there or at thefamilycateringco at gmail.com. Right, and thank you, John, so much for coming out today and showing us uh, what you have and letting us admire your wonderful truck here. And for all those out there who are hungry, I hope they'll give you a call. Oh, I can't wait. Right. We'll see all you guys. Thank you all so much for the support so far. All right. Thank you. This has been Yvonne McNary with Central Kentucky Television.